Hey guys, uh, I hope uh, I hope everybody's okay. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you something uh, interesting. Um, I have here an iPhone 7 Plus. It is water damaged, and uh, um, I'm working on it for data. So. I thought uh, it would be good to make a quick video on this because uh, I'm facing a very interesting um, low VCC main or in the case of the iPhone 7 Plus VDD main short. So let me tell you a couple of things uh, I've done so far on this board. Uh, that came in dead. So uh, it was a uh, VDD main sort in the first place. I found some uh, corroded cabs over here, wi uh, which is pretty pretty common because they are exposed to. Uh, it's uh, really easy for the liquid to reach them uh, over here. I've already replaced them. Uh, this cup over here, the Wi-Fi cup, VDD main cup, was also corroded, so it was sorted and uh, I have removed it. And uh, after that, um, sort was uh, still here, so checked it uh, under my thermal camera and uh, the baseband PMU, this chip over here, was sorted. It has VDD main. So uh, it was sorted and I replaced it and, uh, uh, and that cleared the sort but um, after that I connected it to uh, my power supply uh, it was 000, zero, zero which uh, generally that that uh, that says that VDD main is okay, no consumption before pressing the power button. Uh, and uh, I booted the device, and the uh, device was. I I made it to the home screen where uh, prompted for the password. But uh, afterwards, uh, the device auto rebooted. Um, so it rebooted a couple of times and um, not like the pattern when the the battery switch line uh, has problems it was random reboots and uh, so I, I used I have two DC power supplies uh, the one is over here it's a matrix it has uh, you can see that there are three digits over here and I have another one it's over here the the one I, I made myself uh, with a lead power supply and uh, a package a, a pretty uh, a pretty good uh, converter that that we are using uh, you can you can go and check uh, the the video will put the link on the on the description um, so yeah this is uh, let me I have uh, I can it's connected with my computer so I can yeah that's okay you can see uh, on the left top uh, side of the of the screen that uh, it says 24 volts. This is the input voltage of the uh, of the converter, and the output voltage is six volts. That's because uh, the cable the cables that I use here I use with this power supply uh, needs six volts, and it converts converts it and it converts the the voltage to four four volts, uh, so we can power the device. 
And the output current that you see, uh, 0.008, it's the consumption of the cable set. So if I disconnect the cable set from the, uh, if I disconnect it, you see that. the consumption falls to zero and if I connect it again the consumption is 0 0.008 so uh, let's connect the device to the first power supply with the three digits here's the 7 plus connector okay it's over here so I'm connecting and as you can see over here there is no consumption at all and if I try to power on the device device will boot okay but we're facing those randoms random reboots I uh, won't let it complete boot so you see that I'm connecting the device I'm connecting the logic board and no consumption over here no consumption shown on the DC power supply now I'm gonna connect it to uh, the other power supply with more digits and you can see that uh, the consumption goes up without pressing the power button from 0 0.008 it goes to 0 0.01 so that's uh, uh, three, 3 milliamps short which is a very 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 small one you can see I disconnect the device and the consumption falls to 008 which is the consumption of the cable set and I connect it and it goes to 0 0.01 so um, I'm gonna connect it again to the other power supply so I can reach my thermal camera which is over here and as you can see uh, it's still 0, 0.00 but let's see what thermal camera says I already know where the sort is because I found it earlier and maybe you can see it watch carefully I'm gonna turn off the power supply and I'm gonna turn it on again it's really really small let me Let's see if it's more visible that way. I think you can see it. It's really, really small, so even the thermal camera it 
It's a little little dot. Yeah, over there. You see? I'm opening power supply. I'm turning it off. Turning it on. So yeah. Um, under the microscope, this area is over here. Uh, let's turn off the thermal camera. It's under the shield. It's really hard to see it with a free spray. And I think that uh, I thought that it's the the the, the cup that I uh, you see you see it removed. I removed it, but it wasn't that one. So uh, there are two more VCC main cups, but this one looks ugly over here. So I'm gonna remove this one. And let's see if yeah. And so I connect it. I'm connecting it, and no change on the output current draw. No consumption. So yeah, I thought uh, it was good to share with you guys. Uh, device will boot now. Let's see. And I will probably be able to back up the data. Without device random, in random reboots. Yep. So yeah, I'll probably I'll pr be able to back up the device now. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.